Okay, going to take a look at an app called Counting Money Plus. Uh, they do have a live version of this app that you can download. And uh, basically it is an app to um, help kids learn how to count coins and bills. When you open up how to play, uh, you've got different modes, practice and quiz. Practice, you must get every answer correct to move forward. Quiz, you only get one chance to get the question right. And you can be graded on the quizzes. Um, difficulty, you've got beginner and normal. And you've got custom. Beginner will work from one penny to two dollars. And normal will work from one penny up to four dollars. Number of questions, 10 to 40. Display letter grade on or off. You can put a timer on it. Timer can be from one to eight minutes in increments of one, two, four, or eight. And you can show total coins, show the coins total or not. Uh, these are what the coins look like on the screen. And uh, it kind of just gives you more idea of how to uh, use the app. So let's go ahead and have a look. So if we go counting coins to start with, uh, we'll leave it in practice mode, just so I can show you how this works. We'll leave it on beginner and we'll leave timer off. Um, so let's go and see how this works. When we press begin, you've got to find 34 cents. Now you've got quarters, dimes, nickels and pennies down here. And you've got how many of each are up here. So when you press a quarter, for example, you get one quarter appearing there. So we've got 25 cents. Another nice thing about this app is you can turn on the total for those, of those children who are just learning how to do this, which is uh, like my kids. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we've got one quarter, which is obviously 25 cents. We need another nine cents. So we'll add five and then we'll add four. And you check and you get correct. And then you'll go on to the next level. Now, if I go back out and we go into this and I turn on the um, total so you can see how this works. For kids that are just starting out, when you press a quarter, you'll see it shows up here. So it counts along with you. So it gives you a little bit extra help for those that aren't really sure about how to use it. Let's go back into the menu. Uh, counting dollars. This works the same way, uh, exactly the same, but with bills. And you can turn certain bills off. Obviously, the $1 bill is always on, but you can turn the 20, the 10, or the 5 uh, on or off, uh, depending on what you want to concentrate on. And again, going in and we press begin, uh, we have to make $105. And we've got the total off right now, so you've got to do it all by yourself without any help. Four twenties, as you can see, and then a five. And I missed a 20, obviously, so you add another 20, and then you get it correct. And go back out, and if we look at a different mode on this, if we go to custom, you can change the amount up to, let's say, $10 would be... Um, uh, numbers that you have, uh, sorry, a hundred dollars would be numbers that you have to um, be able to work up to that level. Um, and if you turn quiz on, I'll show you here. So eighty-six dollars, eighty-five-six, and then you move on. You get ten questions, and then you get graded at the end of that. Now, if you go back in here and you go to counting both, uh, you can put the timer on from anywhere from one to eight minutes. We'll put it on two minutes. We'll turn the letter grade on. We'll put it on quiz and we'll leave it on beginner level. And um, we won't show the total and we'll just give this a shot. And over these next two minutes, you can see the timer here will count down. And this is where the app becomes very useful in school. So you can see now we're counting dollar bills and coins um, on this level. and you move on and you have 10 questions and the time counts down. So I'm just going to go through these so I can show you the grade at the end. I'll get some wrong on purpose.
and you'll see that we got eight correct and two incorrect and we got a score of B or 80%. So you can then email that information if you want to about how long it took and everything else or you can go back out and redo the test. So you can close that and head back to the main screen. So it's a great app for introducing kids to uh, coins and bills and lots of different ways to um, you know customize the settings like on this if uh, the beginner goes up to two dollars and normal goes up to four dollars well if you change this to eight dollars on custom for example uh, you will get more of a random number um, coming up so it'll be between a penny and eight dollars when you test this so check it out uh, it is a very good app for introducing kids how to um, to do all this and it's called counting money plus